Hello students. Now we will be talking about plastics. So what are plastic and what are the types of plastic? Or first of all to begin with how can we define plastic? If we want to say that this particular thing is plastic. So what, what are the characteristics which decide that yeah this thing is plastic. So for that reason we need to know that what is a plastic. So if I want to define plastic I can say it is a synthetic material. It is a synthetic material which can be molded or which can be uh, you know framed into different shapes on heating. That means a synthetic material which when heated can be converted or can be framed into different different shapes and this is how we can say that plastic is very very important. Actually we all know that plastic is very very uh, you know dangerous I should say I, I intentionally I am using this word dangerous. It spoils our environment, it spoils the balance, it spoils the beauty of the nature. But still we all use plastic. What is the reason behind this? Why do we use plastic? Because it is true that it is very very harmful but still as it has got certain important characteristics which place it or which makes it better than certain other materials and that is the reason why the plastic is used to such an extent. So first of all we are going to write or we are going to discuss uh, with the uh, discuss definition. So just now I said plastic is a synthetic material which can be molded, can be given, can be framed into different shapes on heating. That means when the plastic is heated different kind of things can be made from the plastic. When I say different kind of things then, then I am saying I am talking about different shapes of the plastic. You just try to analyze uh, your routine. You know, just watch that how many things in a day you use which are made up of plastic. How much plastic is there in your life? So what is plastic? It is a synthetic material which can be molded into different shapes into different shapes on heating. That means when we heat plastic it can be framed into different shapes. This is how we can define plastic. This is how we can say or we can judge that this is plastic. Now we all know that we have discussed many synthetic fibers and that is the reason we all know that all synthetic fibers uh, especially I am using this word synthetic fibers over here because we in this chapter we are discussing only about synthetic fibers. So synthetic fibers are made up of polymers. Synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are made up of polymers. Now we 
Now, what is the meaning of polymers? When many monomers combine in a continuous pattern, then the polymers are formed. We have discussed this thing when we were discussing the first few uh, synthetic fibers. So, what is the what is plastic? Plastic is a synthetic material. Plastic is a synthetic material. Why it is known as synthetic material? Because it is man made material. It is known as synthetic because the uh, things the raw material which are being used to make plastic is some uh, we, we, we can say that these are not from the natural resources or we can say that these are totally man made resources which is or main man made uh, raw material is utilized to make plastic that is the reason it is known as synthetic material. This synthetic material that means the plastic is also made up of polymers as all others are made. Now, how polymers are made? Now, polymers are made up of monomers. So, we have discussed and so I am not going in detail monomer, monomers combines to form polymers monomers combines to form polymers. We have we have also discussed that the monomers can combine in different ways. It can combine in a straight chain or it can combine in a, a cross link pattern. So, here also these monomers can combine these monomers can combine in a straight chain and I can say it as a linear pattern. These are monomers and when the monomers combine in the straight chain, when the monomers combines in the straight chain, then what do we say? We call it as linear pattern. This one is linear pattern, but these monomers, these monomers are what? These monomers are small units, small units are known as monomers. These small units or these monomers, they combine to form the long chain and this long chain is what? Polymers and when this long polymers are formed, then the fibers are formed and fiber it depends upon which uh, which fiber is made like fiber is made up of what easter maybe the long chains of the easter maybe the long chain of the some other material some other chemical this is how the different different synthetic materials are formed now here the monomer is combined in the regular fashion or i can say in the linear pattern and that is the reason it is known as linear pattern. But it can also combine in this way. It can also combine and in this way, which way like this here also it is connected it is connected in this way and so what this will be known as as it is not combining in the linear fashion and so what it will be known as it will be known as cross linked polymer cross linked polymer it will be known as cross linked polymer and this one is linear polymer. Here we are discussing about the plastic. What is plastic? Plastic is a synthetic material which can be molded into different shapes when it is heated and what it is made up of obviously like other material synthetic material fibers even so plastic is made up of polymers.
Now, what is poly? Poly means many. So, it is made up of many small units. So, just we can see this small units are there which are combining and after combining the polymers are formed. It can combine in a regular pattern, regular fashion and then it is, it can be known as linear polymer and when it combines in this way, I forgot to put a line over here, then it is known as cross linked polymer. Now we'll talk about, as I was saying that we all know, each one of us know that plastic is very very harmful for us. But still we all use plastic, I'm not excluding myself, you know I'm including, even I use plastic. Plastic water bottles, plastic, even it can be of some branded company but the plastic is plastic. So we use plastic. We all use plastic, why do we use plastic? Even though we know that the plastic is very very harmful for us. So there are certain characteristics of plastic which makes it so important, which makes it different from the other um, fibers, other synthetic materials or maybe certain other products. So what are the features of plastic? characteristics or characteristics of plastic. Now what are the different characteristics of plastic? Why it is so important? Just carry water bottles, one made up of the plastic one and we all know the metal bottles are also available in the market and especially the bottles, uh, uh, no, it, even the metal bottles have their own characteristic feature, even the we can say uh, it is better in many aspects because the if you keep the hot water in that particular metal bottle, it will remain hot and if you keep, uh, if you keep cold water definitely it will remain cold. And so what I am saying that in your one hand you hold the plastic bottle and in the another hand you hold metal bottle filled with uh, water. You will find that the plastic bottle is quite lighter than the metal bottle. That means which characteristic am I talking about? I am saying that the plastic is very light. Plastic. Obviously, I won't be writing plastic every time because we know that we are discussing about plastic and so definitely whatever characteristic features I will be writing it will be of plastic only. So plastic is very light, plastic is very light, light means what it is not as heavy as the other uh, we can say the metals are, other metals or other substances are. So one characteristic feature is the plastic is light and that is the reason we use it. Now I should say it is cheaper also. If we talk about the plastic bottle, water bottle or any kind of plastic bottle, you can even take the uh, water in the middle uh, empty vacant uh, bottle also and we, we do so, we do so, we all use the middle bottles, once the middle bottle get over and uh, we use it many a times to fill normal water, normal drinking water and when we talk about the other bottles, we will not be getting metal bottles just you know as we are getting the plastic bottles and if we compare the price, the cost of the bottles or anything, uh, you, you compare the uh, cost of the tiffins, you compare the, I am talking, I am asking you to compare the price of the plastic with some other thing, maybe the metals. We all know that plastic is the cheaper one. So plastic is cheap, it is cheap 
and that is the reason again it is used uh, very often. So, now what is the next point you will find many colorful things in the plastic when we talk about water bottles uh, do not think that I am particularly sticking to this point of you know water bottles or tiffins I am explaining I am again again talking about water bottles and tiffins because it is very closely related to your life. You all see these examples very often commonly have experienced or maybe experienced that is the reason I am taking the examples of this or as you can say in general also if you talk the uh, metal body and the plastic body. So, plastic body will be very cheaper as compared to the metal bodies. When you talk about the color just talk about the buckets take the example of the bucket the bucket uh, which are made up of metals and the bucket which is which are made up of plastic. You hold both the buckets in uh, both the hands you will find that plastic bucket is quite light and the metal uh, bucket itself is its own weight is very high and just think about after filling the water again it becomes more heavier it becomes more heavy and that is the reason I am saying that plastic is light but the metals are heavy. In the same way when we, when we are talking about cheap the rates the price the cost then the same thing the plastic bucket you will get in very low price but when you uh, when, when you try to get a metal bucket then uh, definitely it is going to be uh, you will you have to pay more money for that. Now when I am talking about the buckets take the examples of the mugs also which we usually usually use in the uh, you know uh, wash areas maybe the washrooms wash areas you know the bucket and the mug you just uh, think about the metal uh, mug it is so it looks shabby it's do, it doesn't look so pretty <laughs> but when it talk about the plastic mugs the plastic buckets nowadays such a beautiful range uh, is uh, available range if you talk about the color you talk about the price everything prints everything design so again when we are talking about when we are comparing the plastic with the other metals uh, then we can say that the, the buckets are which are made up of plastic are quite lighter than the buckets which are made up of the metals they are cheaper also and they are more colorful you will see buckets and mugs of various colors pink blue orange red yellow many different colors even white so you will find all these beautiful colors in plastic but you won't get this in the metals so it is very colorful I can even say beautiful beautiful design ok and even the shapes different shape can be given you talk about the uh, different uh, you know shapes the, the bigger size the smaller size the you know the rectangular triangular different all different things when you talk about of plastic all the shapes can be given very easily and when you talk about the uh, watches the calculators the you know take the examples so many examples we have so much plastic we use even the containers you know containers I mean to say the big bottles which we use at the uh, in the uh, for the household purpose to fill the cereals you know sometimes the uh, little uh, snacks and all these things various shapes colors designs and prints are available that means all this material is very fanciful and so can be utilized uh, very nicely now plastic do not do not corrode it do not corrode and so it's good that it doesn't corrode that means it doesn't react with water and air it doesn't react it doesn't react
it doesn't reacts with air and water it doesn't reacts with air and water this is again a very very important thing feature and again uh, for that reason it is acceptable in all different laboratories also in the kitchen where in the kitchen also we store so many things in the kitchen in, uh, in the kitchen in the plastic bottles even when we talk about the laboratories many chemicals are stored uh, or you know collected or kept uh in the uh, plastics why the thing is that it doesn't corrodes it doesn't reacts with air and water at the same time it doesn't reacts with the chemicals also do not react do not react with chemicals it do not react with the chemicals it do not get dissolved even isn't it dissolving and again that reaction almost same thing do not do not dissolve in water just imagine if you store the water in the bucket and bucket get dissolved in the water so what a fun so but it doesn't happens isn't it water uh, will be like this uh, as you have kept in the bucket bucket won't get dissolved or the plastic won't get dissolved in water hmm? uh, take the example of the laboratories if you have kept the hcl hydrochloric acid in the plastic container it won't happen that the plastic get dissolved in the hydrochloric acid so that is the thing again it is very very useful that it doesn't gets uh, it doesn't reacts it doesn't corrode it doesn't reacts with the air and the water it doesn't reacts with the chemicals it doesn't reacts with the water that means it doesn't get dissolved in the water and that is the reason it is uh, used all these are the reasons why we are using plastic now when we talk about the next one it is a bad bad conductor it is bad conductor of heat and electricity of heat and electricity it is a bad conductor of heat and electricity i do not think that i need to define or tell what is the meaning of bad conductor of heat and electricity but still the bad conductor of heat bad conductor that means the one which doesn't conducts the one which doesn't carries so what does it doesn't carries it doesn't carries the heat or electricity and that is the reason it is very very useful when i say that it is a bad conductor of heat then the plastic is utilized in the many many kitchen appliances talk take the example of the pens pens mean the cooking pen i'm talking about or you can say the pressure cooker the body is made up of metal but obviously the handles are made up of plastics so why it is made up of plastic as i said that the plastic is bad conductor of heat that means that metal pressure cooker will become hot but the handle won't become hot that means we will be able to hold the handle comfortably and we will be able to open or close even the hot pressure cooker now when i talk when i say when i'm explaining or uh, i'm saying that it is even the bad conductor of electricity that is the reason that it is used in making lots of cables it is used in making electrical switches appliances and even the wires we all know electric electrical wires so the definitely the wire inside is copper but the 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 uh, covering of the uh, wire is what it is plastic that here this in this characteristic 
uh, increases the use of plastic like anything that is the reason why the plastic is used to such an extent why because it is bad conductor of heat it does not get heated uh, take the example of the iron the, uh, the iron's body is of metal but obviously the handle would not be of metal if the handle of the iron will be made up of metal even the handle will become hot and how we will be able to iron we would not be able to iron and the iron will be useless for us and even we will get shock is not it. So, bad conductor of heat that means it does not carry the uh, uh, heat and bad conductor of electricity that means it does not conducts electricity it is the bad conductor of electricity and so it is used in the cables electric wires the uh, handles of the different appliances now we all know uh, that so many characteristic features we are uh, seeing and you know I told this thing before also that the properties decide the uses the properties what is the property this is a property of the plastic that it is the bad conductor of electricity and it is the bad conductor of heat. Now the properties will only decide the uses as these uh, characteristics are shown by the plastic or the plastic shows all these characteristics and that is the reason the uses which we have discussed along with that that is the reason it is used in different places and when I say that properties decide the uses and definitely the uses decides the importance of the material. When the properties are very very favorable for us and uh, when, when the properties are favorable then definitely the uses are also ample and number of uses are there and when n number of uses are there then definitely uh, the, this uh, importance of this material increase ok. So, this ok now what can be the next use of the uh, plastic now the when the uh, you know the things are stored in it it does not uh, you know it does not smells like uh, this not it is not in certain important feature but the thing is that it does not react the so, eatables can also be kept in certain uh, containers certain plastics is not it. So, it does not smells also and then what can be the next feature the uh, 3 hours can be followed very nicely that means the plastic see I am not saying that all the plastic can be recycled all the plastics cannot be recycled but the plastic basically the plastic can be recycled reuse ok uh, and reuse recycled e, d I will be removing from here. So, it can be recycled and it can be reused or recycled and reused that means the plastic has a capability to be used again and again and recycled again and again and it is the plastic are not the thing that which once used it has to be thrown definitely not. So, it can be recycled and again the different shapes the different things can be made from that it can be reused that means once the container is when the jar is used it becomes empty it is not at all important or necessary or uh, no uh, we do not need we do not have to throw that it can be utilized again and again. So, all these characteristic features make makes the plastic very very important. Now, it is 
it can be that means the plastic can be hard it can be flexible and even it can be soft that means there are different types of plastics which are available in the markets and according to the material according to, according to the product which we are using now take the example of a toothbrush just take the example of the toothbrush the toothbrush brushes that bristle part and the handle definitely it will be uh, it can't be made by only one kind of material one has to be little hard and one has to be the little the one part the bristles has to be soft and flexible but the handle cannot be soft and flexible it will turn along with brushing it it will get folded so the take the example of the comb the uh, comb means roller comb i'm talking about so the, the 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 front part is quite flexible but the handle is quite hard because the front part has to get it has to be rolled but the handle should not be rolled so the plastics and many examples you will find of plastic there are certain pen, uh, pens which are very soft you know the uh, certain plastics which can be folded can be even the scales now nowadays certain scales are available in the market which you can roll the scale and again it can be unrolled so soft plastics are also available hard plastics are also available flexible plastics are also available available means the this is the characteristic feature of the plastic that it can be made hard it can be made soft it can be made flexible so as i am saying always that the property decides the uses so it can be used in so many things the things which should be hard it should be flexible and the things which should be soft so again this property increases the uses of the plastic so these all are the important characteristics of the plastic and the definition what is plastic and the features which i told that why what is the reason why do we use plastic plastic is a synthetic material which is made up of the polymers as the other fibers are made up of polymers are made up of small units which are known as monomers when many monomers combine they form polymers and the the, the various important characteristic features of the plastic is that it is very cheap it is light it doesn't corrode it doesn't dissolve it doesn't uh, reacts with air and water it doesn't reacts with the chemical it uh, then it is available in various shapes and sizes it is also uh, available in uh, cheaper rate at the cheaper rate Th this is a bad conductor of heat and electricity now when i come to the uh, if i want to write the uses of the plastic over here if i want to write the uses of the plastic over here how can we write the uses just by seeing the properties i can write the uses how uh, when i talk about hard flexible soft i gave the example of the brush so i can write over here the brushes various i'm not able to write so i won't be writing i'll just be talking about this so uh, the brushes are made the combs the tooth brushes the paint brush then the uh, when when we move up uh, so the electric wires cables switches the uh, even you talk about many electrical appliances you talk about speakers tape recorders uh, you know anything you talk about the laptops the computers the body has plastic you talk about the cameras the televisions you know the watches uh, whatever you see nearby the plastic is there so there are many uh, things which are uh, made by the plastic and then the chemicals it doesn't get dissolved in the chemicals and so the containers are made and is utilized or used in the laboratories and even you know we store many things in the plastic containers if you talk about the e tables e tables are also there and 
along with the eatables we also store say suppose, uh, suppose the uh, the hydrochloric acid at home the nail polish remover is if you take the bigger bottle then it is it the it comes in the plastic then you talk about the oils uh, different kinds of oils it comes in the plastic then uh, you talk about the certain uh, you know the uh, liquids which are used to wash the utensils even that comes in the plastic containers. So, different types of bottles uh, may talk about the so you can say the water bottles, tiffins, jars, containers are uh, made from the plastic. So, the, this all are the features the characteristics of the plastic why the plastic is so important. Now, we will talk about the next topic.